Welcome, everybody, to a rather special episode of, of Architect Tomorrow here. So I am really privileged to have the panel that we've managed to assemble um, here today. And, um, you know, th there's a running joke, I think, around architects, which is that a group of architects is an argument of architects. And I know, Paul, that's the name of your podcast, so possibly stealing your joke there, stealing your thunder. But uh, I think there's a, there's a danger here that this series could either be amazingly insightful or it could just be all of us sort of shouting over each other and arguing uh, about things because, you know, arguments do like to, to, to discuss uh, the profession and, and architecture. But, but look, I think what we've seen over the last kind of few, first few days even of 2022 is we still aren't really clear on what architecture is in different professions and different uh, industries. And um, that's why I wanted to kind of assemble this, this, this group. Uh, we've got a number of different podcasts here. And so to kick things off, I wanted to do was just allow everyone to sort of introduce themselves and talk a little bit about, about their podcast for those that aren't aware of uh, the podcast or the, or the, or the book series. Um, one thing I was going to say is I've got a whole stack of books here, some from people on this call. Uh, I've got the people problem here as well. And so, you know, we, we have an amazing um, set of sort of thought leaders here uh, on, on this call. So um, perhaps, Chris, if we can, Chris Potts, I should say, we can start with you, given your, I, I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong, you're the one without a podcast series, you know, you know perhaps you know, that's something you might might do in 2022, I don't know, maybe I'm stealing your thunder there. Um, but yeah, perhaps we can kind of kick off with, with a bit of, bit of background on yourself. Thank you very much, Oliver, and thanks to everybody for allowing me and inviting me to join the panel today. I work as a, a working career mentor for enterprise architects, so I'm focused on the people side of this all the way down to the ground where we get on and do work together. I used to travel a lot. Uh, a lot. Um, met some of my panelists around the world already. Um, but a couple of years ago, I decided to redesign my own business and make it online only, make it a personal mentoring service. And uh, But I, I have even better now because I can work with people all around the world and they can ask me with a few hours notice to get on get online like this. And we get on with some work together and sort out some issues they've actually got. It's great fun. I mean, I started as an enterprise designer. I'm going to use that term because I've now, you know, because I was in, in 1986. Was, was given my first job as an architect in 1995 uh, and, and turned into a mentor plus architect in 2000. And that's kind of my career sort of a nutshell as an architect. And I know, I know I wrote some books. I mean, you can't live off book writing unless you're really good. Um, so, so that's kind of, the, well, there's a few things you're known for. I think we might come back to this. You know, what we know about each other is namely sort of things like books, conference speeches, anything like that, podcasts, you know, that kind of thing. But most of the work that goes on within enterprises, enterprise architects actually do, have ves has very little visibility. And that includes mine. And so most people don't know what they're, what I've been up to as an enterprise that, that, that's architect. A, that's a beautiful years. thought, which we'll hold for, for, for yeah. the discussion later. That's a, that, but that is, a, that, is, that is bang on. Thank you, Chris. And let's, let's go to the other Chris, uh, seeing as we're, we're talking to Chris's. So, so Mr. Lockhart, um, uh, you know, you, you, you've been running a successful podcast around consultant consultancy for a while, but yeah, just give, give us a bit of background on yourself, sir. Yeah, um, I'm a history major. I have a liberal arts degree, right? And somehow I've like, I, I fell backwards. Are we allowed to say ass? I fell ass backwards into technical architecture originally, but you know, as, as I, as I grew in my career, uh, it became much more enterprise and focus, right? Because it was dealing with things that had owners that were non-technical. You know, we always say, oh, they're in the business. Well, I mean, it, the whole thing's a business, but you know, they were, they were on sort of that less technical side and they would own things like, you know, an app or a website or, or some data or something related to the product of the company, right? And so uh, from the technical side, I grew into helping them understand the things that they have and the objectives they want to achieve and how there is technology maybe, right, that enables that for the company. Um, and then from, from there, it's a hop, skip and a jump straight into management consulting uh, where I spent most of my career of the past 20 years or so. Um, and yeah, you know, one of the things that always interested me was, you know, consultants, especially management consultants, um, even with enterprise architecture backgrounds or technical architecture backgrounds, right? 
say lots of things. And so that was the genesis, right? For the, the idea of a podcast is let's just talk about stuff that consultants talk about. And we've talked about architecture quite a number of times with all kinds of folks, right? And um, I, I just find it a fascinating kind of topic because as you pointed out, Oliver, there is this uh, real disagreement on what the word means and what the people who have that in their LinkedIn profile, what they do and how they do it, right? Yeah, thanks, Chris. So let's, let's stick with consultants saying things, um, guests or, 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 or members, so, so to speak. So Wendy, let's, let's move over to you. I know also you run your own Straight Talk podcast as well, don't you? But yeah, t- tell, us more, tell us more about yourself. Indeed, delighted to be here. Some of my most favorite people here on the screen. So really, really looking forward to it. So my focus is business architecture, longtime practitioner, thought leader, educator, um, practicing the discipline very hands-on from just about every angle from having architected um, very large scale transformations to running my own team to helping organizations set up business architecture in their organizations to using it for startups and, and cross-sector initiatives in emerging nations. So I really sort of live and breathe and, and love this discipline that we all do practice it from a, a very strategic business angle and a very practical angle, though I'm also a business architecture guild co-founder, so uh, very involved from the industry perspective. And yeah, indeed, I do have a podcast called Business Architecture Straight Talk, and it used to be accompanied by a, a set of articles, which are now a book coming out this year called Strategy to Reality. So, indeed. I'm going to be the old one out soon, I think, without without a book. But um, no, thank, thanks, Wendy. Um, uh, Phil, let's 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 the, uh, round out the consultant saying things uh, crew, and and you do tech after five as well, don't you? Have I got that wrong? Yeah. So I've got the tech after five thing, and that's kind of what I've been doing. And uh, you know, probably most folks look and say, "Man, look at all these smart people." I'm sure that Phil Yanov is a clerical error. That's how he got on this panel. I'm almost sure that's exactly what happened, but. If you look back in my CV from way back, you know, I, uh, I started as, with a stint at uh, Kairos Corporation. We were the world's largest provider of IBM point of sale equipment, and we did it all over the world. But uh, my thing was just primarily helping make that stuff work and the company behind that work. So I got some a little bit of background, a little bit of technical side of this thing. But since then, I've gone out into the world and I'm helping other IT professionals both meet each other, move their careers and their businesses forward through Tech After Five, our networking over coffee, and a podcast, which at the moment is called the Tech After Five podcast and is about to get a brand new refresh. So watch out for that. Very cool. Thank you, Phil. And um, Paul, uh, last but not least, um, you know, you, you, you're, you seem to be a man with lots of different, uh, you know, doing lots of different things, you know, podcasting, professionalizing the industry, running kind of architecture communities, chief architect forum. But yeah, give us, give us a, a, a brief overview, if it's even possible, of, of, of Paul Price. Um, well, thank you, Oliver. I mean, I, I actually have no problem going last in this crew. That's just, just fine with me because, you know, this is obviously a superstar lineup. Um, and thank you for hosting us uh, and getting us started this year. 22, 2022 is going to be, I think, big for this dialogue. The, uh, the funny thing is February is ICE's 20th year in having this dialogue. Now, guess what our <laughs> first meeting was in Austin, Texas with 60 people and Roger Sessions, for anybody who knows that name. Um, the topic was what is architecture? So I have been having this dialogue now for 20 years. And um, I, I have to say, I'm not surprised because we're dealing with thorny issues that affect the hundreds of thousands of professionals and billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of investment. So it's a big deal. And uh, we are a profession finding ourselves. And that is a, that's a slow process. And it is, I want to say, while we get a little frustrated in the industry in this thought leader community, I, I, I think um, it's the most important dialogue we can have. And honestly, we're the only profession that is forming globally. All other professions have formed locally, right? Architects, building architects had this dialogue. Uh, if you look at the AIA, uh, the American Institute of Architects or the Irish, uh, the Irish were actually the first people to have an association for building architects. 
So if you look at this, the history of those things, um, all of them have this dialogue. Who's in, who's out? What does it mean? How do we provide value? And so it's, 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 it's unbelievably important, but we're the only ones doing it with a global lens and the internet and social media to, yeah. compute, to, you know, to make things more clear. <laughs> and, and, it's not, and it's not like technology sort of underpins pretty much everything in yeah. the world these days, but uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah but... and, and that's, why, that's why we started the argument was yeah. because the argument is what I love. It is the debate. It is the dialogue. It is the, uh, uh, the, the Venn diagram of our belief systems and how we find that right, that, that right middle yeah. ground. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks Paul. And, uh, and look, I suppose just briefly sort of round things out, a little bit of background on me, although folks who've been watching Architect Tomorrow probably know me, but for those that are perhaps tuning in because they know someone else in the panel, uh, my background is as a uh, hands-on developer who then became a solutions architect, who then became an enterprise architect, but very much found my own way through those, the, the, those different transitions. And then more recently, chief architect at a big, big four, and that now I'm at, I'm at Tanium um, doing uh, customer uh, kind of reference architecture type stuff, as well as working on the industry things with, with Paul and others. So um, thank you everyone for, for, for doing that. Mm -hmm.